Backyard, we end up catching him in a field down here. He's hiding in the field. Right now, I go back to my car, see what's wrong with it. We got a little fender bend on the guy hit us at the corner. Where'd you go? Right right here. Here. Who's that? Huh? Take your car on you, man? What did I tell you with that car? What do you take it from me? Um, Where we at? Who's in the car? Your friend was? Yeah, him, yeah. And they took him out of it? Yeah. At gunpoint? The gun yeah. They dragged him out of it? Was he sitting in the passenger side? Yeah. And they took him out of gunpoint? Then what happened? And then um, they just took off. They the took car. off? Yeah, I just called 911 right away. I guess you have to worry about the live music anymore, huh? I just put it on a few days ago. Yeah, I know. Hey, you're not hurt, you know what I mean? Yeah. A little bit you got right insurance, here. though, no insurance, huh? Oh, he had a call for carjacking at 15 Prairies about 10, 15 minutes ago. We ended up coming up uh, Partisan Grant at the end of this corner down here. When we came into collision with them, he still kept driving went through a couple of fences. We ended up being able to stop him. Hey, he let the car run. It banged into my cruiser again. He bailed on foot. We went to the backyards. We ended up apprehending him at one of the backyards and the fences. We're now when we're switching for the gun and for the information to uh, prosecute the suspect. Well, I've been on the uh, force now a little bit better than a year. Uh, I've been working with Danny the last three. You know, I'm doing the best I can and uh, learning as, a, as I go. I still have a lot, a lot to learn. I guess you never, never really stop learning, you know. And uh, every situation's uh, different, and some are the same, you know. Uh, we got a radio call uh, for family trouble. Evidently, uh, the mother is having problems with the son. So we're going to go in there and uh, see what's going on. A lot of uh, single parents in this neighborhood, this area. And we find, we find a lot of times when they have disagreements, we're called in to play daddy for them. Uh, you know, it's kind of a social work kind of thing. 736 right here. What was the number again? Did we get a call down here a few weeks ago? What was the number again, Dan? 732. She's right there on the front porch. All quiet now. I don't know what yeah, you heard on my uh... Oh, we just heard you're having a problem with a uh, child. I have an ongoing problem with my 12-year-old son. Yeah. Supposed to be on punishment in his bedroom right now, but it's been going on for a little bit of time. What was the problem? Um, this evening, he came home from his father at about 6 o'clock. I had problems with him leaving this morning, and he knew that when he got home, he would be on punishment. And he is continually telling me what to do instead of me telling him and I've been fighting with him for an hour to get him to win his room and take yeah. his punishment. I mean his punishment what is, is his not punishment? So, just his to stay in his room? He's not going out on his uncle's boat tonight for fireworks. Okay. Because ever since I had them on vacation last week on Cape Cod and I had to come home three days early because he wanted no part of the Cape and being with his family. All right, so do you, find, you find he has a, you have a hard time with him when well, he comes home the from first his father? Time, the police have been here, but I had a pretty good winter because he got into a new school program and things were a little better. He's been out of school three weeks, and I've been fighting with him for three weeks. He doesn't realize that I'm his mother, and he has to abide by the rules. Okay. What do you, uh, what's your name, son? You don't know your name? Nope. Do you uh, have anything to say about what your mother just told us? No. Nope. No? You understand you have to stay in your room tonight? No. Nope. You don't? Well, I think, you know, you should do what your mother says. She's looking out for your best interests. And if you're not, uh, you have to have certain rules you have to live by. And if you don't stay by those rules... How old are you, Pastor? 
12. 12. What grade do you win? Seventh. Seventh grade, going into the eighth. No, going into the seventh. Going into the seventh. Where are all your guy friends tonight? Is that what this is all about? She won't let you go out with them? Yep. And how come? Oh, she's a fag. Your mother's not a fag. That's not very nice. So? So? You're not a punk, are you? Pat, look, at when you're 18, you can move out. You can join the military or go out on your own, get a job. But until you're 18, you have to stay here with Mom and live by her rules. Just sit up on the couch for me for a second. Wanna... Come on, I'll give you a hand up. I don't want to, uh, my neck's hurting from talking to you down there. Come on, give me a hand. Hmm? Huh? I don't want to sit on her furniture. Oh, stop it for crying out loud. You get your mother pretty upset now. So? You know what a chin's warrant is? Nope. Child in need of service? You want to be one of those kids? Someone telling you what you have to do and when you can do it and when you can't do? What do you think it is every day of my life? Well, I mean, you're only 12 years old, pal. You gotta live by the rules. What time do you have to be in at night? I don't know. What time do you have to be in at night? I don't know. During the week? Depends what time of year it is. All right, I'm talking about right now, summertime. Whenever she calls me in. What time is that usually? I don't know. What time? You must have an idea. Me and I go back up. So what's the problem then, Pat? Nothing. Nothing's the problem. Maybe I don't get it. I don't know. I want to go up, but she won't let me. Well, that's what I just asked you. Now, why won't she let you go out? Because she's a fag. Do you, know, is, do you know what that means when you're saying that? It's not very polite to call anybody a fag, let alone your mother. And your mother's your best friend, whether you believe that or not. Patrick's being a little difficult here. He doesn't want to talk to anybody. He's flip-flopping around. He doesn't seem to think there's a problem, but yet he's got his hand buried in his face. He says you're keeping him in. You're not keeping him in. You don't let him watch TV. You... What time does he have to be in at night? He doesn't necessarily have a set time. But for instance, last night, 11 o'clock, it was time to come in. I'm always here, and, you know, if we're sitting right out front, or the kids are in the neighborhood right on the stairs, it's now summer. Yeah. By 10, 10 o'clock, 10.30 is late enough. That's last night at 11 o'clock, he wouldn't come in. Yeah. He's telling me where he's going at 11 o'clock. Well, 11 o'clock is not tolerable when I have to go to work in the morning and everything else. That's right. He's only you know, 12 years old. That's right. Pretty, I'm pretty lucky young. I was out past 8.30 at right. 12. That's what I told them. We were in by the time the street lights went on. Do you think that's unreasonable, Pat? You got to let us know. Yeah. That's unre How late do you think you should be able to stay out? That's fine, but if I can sleep with my friends, I think I should be able to. He didn't say anything but... Yeah, I did. And besides that, the answer was no last night. He was out on the boat with his uncle and my nephew. At 11 o'clock, it was time for him to come home because he had to go with his father at 9 o'clock this morning. I didn't want him at somebody else's house when his father was picking him up at 9 o'clock. Well, your mom's the boss while you're living under her household. She's the boss. You're the child. You have to live by her rules, not your own. I had to do it. Officer Maroney had to do it. What starts out to be a 15-minute punishment ends up in an, an all-day affair. Okay. There will be a report filed. You can pick it up and right. go to court in the morning. I'll do that in the morning. Okay. Then. All right. Any more problems, Great. call us. All right. Thank you, guys. Have a good night. Bye. Try to. So yeah. much for the fireworks. We had our own here tonight. Stick with your guns. You're on the right track. <laughs> all right. Thanks. Take care. Tough situation for her. I mean, what do you do, single parents? I think she did the right thing, though, by calling us. They have to be rules. We got a fairly decent sized city with 80,000 people. You know, I was born and raised here, and you know, I work here and come across people I went to, you know, grew up with, went to high school with. Um, even your neighbors, you know, you come across, sometimes you have to arrest them. You know, it's, you know, it's nothing personal, it's just part of a job, and, and it's the job I decided to take. We got a B&E in progress. Person okay. just came home. A guy was trying to break into our house. Uh, primary car dispatch is right in front of us. Uh, we're gonna put back in a mop or right behind him. Yep. Guys, 
running. See if he made it out yet. Gracie, come out yet? The cat just came out of there. Yeah. Of course. No, Grace, coming back towards you. Coming back towards you, Grace. Hold up, buddy. Okay, we got him. I need to know. Got him? Put your hands out. Put your hands out. So what are you running for? Huh? You didn't do anything. What are you running? Stay down. Stay down. Lay out flat. I didn't do nothing. Give me the right hand. We got this guy in the right here. Stay on your stomach. Grace. Eighteen, we got that party. All right, cool. uh, we're in the backyard of Beacon Hill, where our cruiser is. Oh, you hurt my arm, man. Well, what are you running for? What are you hiding? I got busted yesterday, man, for some crack. That's the only reason why I ran. We're all selling. We just That's gotta talk to a victim. Rosie, I'll lock Rosie up for trespassing. Then go for it up, Rosie. I did, man. What are you talking about? Get him up out of here. Right up here, Rosie. We'll walk right up through the bush here. Yeah. So what are you running for, Rosie? I'd rather get an idea. I thought you were going to find a man. Did you have any on you? Is that why you ran? I had a little. I didn't have that much. What'd you do with it? Do it, man, as soon as I seen you. Why? And that's why you bossed me the other day 14, for that, man. 14. So he just got out today and he's going back in tonight, from the looks of it. Traipsing through people's backyards, scaring them half to death. Oh, yeah, it's disorderly. I didn't say at see nobody, see nobody's yard is scared. All these, huh? all these people in the house right here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Trespassing. Poor lady, was, who's in my yard? She's screaming. Uh, we'll go get her. The other police just brought the victim down. She said you're the one who tried to break into her house. Get out of here. Rosie, come on. There's nothing new for you. She was lying right here. I saw this black man, and his hand was out like this. And I hauled, get out of here. And then I ran, I, I, I didn't pull back, and I ran to the back door, and uh, I didn't even see that the screen was pushed in at first, because yeah. I ran out here to see where he went, because he jumped the back fence, and he come out this driveway, and then he started running up the street. So oh, it's good you had a watchdog. Yeah. He Did he bark? He didn't bark at all? No, this. he just, just got see, real nervous. See what he's doing now? Yeah, yeah when he, he looks is. around the yard. Hey, do good boy. A beautiful guy. Hey. You gotta learn to bark. You gotta bark when people come in your yard. Almost the biggest creature. Almost barks like a fool. Yeah. He just see what he's doing now. Oh yeah. Yeah. He knows there's somebody around his house. He knows somebody that see this is what he was doing. Who's your good boy? He's you. Thank you, Mrs. Walsh. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. You know we've been chasing this guy around for years. He's got a drug problem. He was just arrested last week. He just got out of jail today. Just worked out pretty good. We just happened to be right there, right on scene. Okay, we'll still send a code three.